One of the most important things about this kind of construction is preventing problems now that may show up later. And the biggest problem, certainly in this area, is water incursion. Since there's groundwater here in Seattle, a lot of the, a lot of the time we have to isolate the foundation wall from the subgrade water. Water will push into the concrete, it'll push up under the concrete, it'll push everywhere it can to make its way. So the best thing we can do is to waterproof the footing. Once it's poured, the surface will be coated with a hydrostatic paint. It's great. The first permanent element of the structure. Once the footing is poured, we have to wait a day for the concrete to set. Then it can be waterproofed. Oh, well, finally a day without rain. Well, at least a day with a little less rain. This is our best chance to seal the top of the footing with a sealing product that will keep the moisture from moving from the footing into the stem wall. A binding agent is added to the mix to provide additional adhesion to the footing. The mixture looks a lot like cement. That's because it is. Broad strokes first. No finesse needed here. Just coating the top is what counts. The brush ensures complete coverage. So now we have a waterproof footing for the stem wall. Oh.